Hi, welcome to the video diary today. Um, it's been quite a steady day. It's been uh, fairly steady in the morning and then a little bit quieter this afternoon. So not bad. It's heading into winter. That's what we tend to find. Um, less and less horses competing and so uh, not as many injuries. So um, yeah, look, a bit drier today. It's great. It makes life a bit easier. So I think it's a great opportunity to talk. Um, people that follow the diary would have seen that last week I was at a meeting in the evening about uh, rehab of injuries and it raised a lot of interesting concepts and thoughts that sort of stimulate the mind and i'm a great believer that you you never stop learning really and sometimes if you disagree with something it can be almost as good to stimulate your thought and why you do things and why you recommend things um so one of the things i i find from a scientific point of view a lot of people compare horses to humans and human athletes and trying to extrapolate from human data into the horse world. But I think that's a little bit flawed, to be honest, because human athletes can actually compete with considerable amount of drugs that we wouldn't even consider ethical or right to do. So humans compete with neurofin in the system, which is equivalent to butte. So I think if you compare injuries, uh, like injury success and and trying to extrapolate that across to, to horses from humans, it, it's really difficult to assess. You really need to know the nuts and bolts of how people are being assessed. So when you look at the elite athletes, you know, they can have local anaesthetic put in their knees. People that follow the AFL um, know that I think many years, I think it was about 10 or 12 years ago, Brisbane Lions, when they won one of the grand finals, that they had they use the equivalent of about 130, 140 mils of local anaesthetic injected into players' joints on during the match. So it's, it's really quite a, a hard area to extrapolate. So in horses, we've really got to look at different ways to maximize a return following injury. And I think that's where we really need to look at data. It's really lacking in a lot of areas that we really don't know how to compare apples with apples and um, we're often called <laughs> comparing apples with bananas or you know cherries in some cases so i i think you have to really step back and say what worked for your horse for someone else's horse it can, may not work for another horse but equally as i've as i've learned over the years you can never say never and by that i mean Every time I see a horse that's got a horrific injury or a horrific damage to a ligament or a tendon, I never say it'll never get back to performance because as soon as I say that, I can guarantee your horse will. So maybe people try and coax it out of me, but I'm very superstitious. And I think if you say never, it'll, it'll always come back to bite you on the bum and, and the horse will get back. So really out of the meeting, we talked a, we talked a lot about um, rehab really. And I think that's the biggest thing we find with our tendon and ligament injuries in racehorses. We got some very, very good results getting horses back. Um, I view success as five starts or more in racehorses. I really think that's the minimum that owners should expect if I recommend a treatment. And with superficial digital flexor tendons, we're, we're sitting around the 90, 95%, which is really quite good. But one of the key, ind key things we find is to get those numbers we really have to train the horses on high speed treadmills during the rehab program that's invaluable and that there alone can add sort of 20 percent to the successful outcome when we look at our numbers so really interesting really interesting meeting but i think what it comes back to is we've really got to try and um assess things on an individual level and then try and collate the data and try and match it up so we can give owners and you guys as, as owners of horses and riders our best advice of what what will be a successful outcome so anyway i'll probably talk a little bit more about it in the next few days so thanks for following i'll speak to you soon cheers bye